Hello everyone and welcome to another Doodle World video and yes we got a new update, a new area, a new key guardian. So I'm going to discuss what's actually in this update before we get going. The key guardian battle and how you fight him, what he has, me unlocking the key will be a separate video. Chip data chips in this update if there is any, which they are, that will be a separate video. Chests located in the new area, Sweetsville Factory behind me will be a separate video. In this video, I'm mainly going to talk about what's in this update and show off the skins. But before we get going, I am Gore Punk here at the Goriest Punk YouTube channel. If you are new, smash that sub button right under the video. Go follow me at my Twitter at Goriest Punk and thumbs up or thumbs down. Either way, guys, thank you for stopping by and checking out this Doodle World update video for 8-12-2022. Yes, I couldn't record yesterday, so I'm a day late. But let's get going with this. Okay, so here we are. So to actually get an update and start everything new, it says return to Bond Suite Secretary in front of the candy factory, which is right here. See where that guy just ran out? Oh, look at it. Hi, Punk. It's Punk. Yes, it is. So I'm mainly going to discuss what's in this update. So let's get on with this. So I'll be reading off what Wish posted in his Discord. And also I'll read off if there was any bug fixes since the update. So the patch notes. It's version 0.4. New doodle is in here. Click key, which is that doodle you can unlock with um, gaining data chips. Remember I talked about that? So I'll probably make a separate video based on this doodle to talk about it like I did with Munchies and some other doodles. We got new skins, which I will show off all these new skins like I usually do. We got the new area, yes, Sweetsville Factory. The second key, yes, the second key. To let you know, once you get the second key, your doodles level cap is raised to 36. So there's multiple doodles you can evolve now. I'm pretty sure you can evolve Archuma, stuff like that. Which I said I would do a key guardian video. It'll be a separate video of me doing if the puzzle crap or whatever and then me fighting the key guardian. New feature, click on Doodlepedia skins to disable them from wild encounters. You can disable up to three skins per doodle. So like if there was five skins and you're trying to find one skin while chaining, you can click on three skins not to spawn. So those skins will Will never spawn until you unclick them to make it easier for you to find certain skins because there's going to be a lot of skins in the future also prestige skins does not work for disabling prestige skins are totally different like kind of skin styles with different encounter rates so though it's not a glitch those you cannot disable every roulette set now is guaranteed to have one skin yes i checked that out and it was right Every, um, my three roulettes for the day each had a skin. And which said, far sorry for taking so long. Also, I forgot to mention, they just made me a CC in the Discord. Right now, they're actually taking a um, applications. If you have 1K subs or higher and do Doodle World content, you could be a Doodle World CC. So hopefully they ask me for a skin, because I don't know what I want for a skin. I love spirit types, and I love bug types, and I love mixtures of that. Thinking something cool of Archuma, based on me. But how about I shut up and let's get going. So like I said, the second key raises to level 36. Here's a bug fix since the update fixed strain substance description, whatever that is. Fix one of the data chips being too high, which I'll have a separate video on the data chips. Fix line of dialogue that appears from blank blank if you have completed the Lewis dedication quest. Ooh, a new quest. I think there's no major bugs that are result of bad internet. It's just from me. That's what Wish said. I accidentally gave burning orb to Glubby. That's what happens when I'm working with no sleep, he says. Fix the glitch with previous Quincy cutscene, where you give money to the beggar. I haven't done that yet, so... Remove burning orb from Glubby. Fix random battles. These are patches. And then Wish talking about if you are a YouTuber with 1k subs or higher, contact a mod in their Discord to see if you can get CC row if your YouTube is linked to your account. Also, if you are under 1k subs and still make Doodle World content and it's good, like if you talk a lot or you make short videos if you don't talk to showing off stuff, still give in your application. You could get accepted. Dark Taffy no longer buffs Choke's damage. Buff Meta Letar's stats. New stats. So he has he his stats got changed since the update, so burn has been reworked. 25% physical damage reduction, 50% heal reduction from all sources, still does damage at the end of every turn. That's for the move burn. Which said these are all experimental changes. And then once again he's talking about you can't disable prestige skins from being encountered. Prestige skins have a different encounter rate from normal skins and uses their own special equation. Only posting this because people keep on thinking it's a bug. It's not. So that's what's actually added in the update and bug fixes. I just had my screen up in case somebody said something, you know, 
weird on my screen. Okay, so I'm in the factory, and this is what actually spawns in the candy factory. So from always left to right would be left the most common, right the root rare, the most rarest to find. So we got Bun Sweet, we got the Grim Sugar, we got the Apluff, we got Munchies and its evolution, we got Bun Swirl, and we got the Calamander. You can finally catch Calamander and Munchies in the wild. But that's what's actually added, and you get the reward. Tycoon title. What are you hunting in this new update? I really want to get my misprint munchies first and then yeah I'm looking for calamander misprint probably first and I really want the soda demon skin But yeah, what are you hunting for? But now let's check out these brand new skins. So here we are There's actually two pages of skins. So let's look at these babies I always forget a lot of these names, but here's those glass types new skins they actually look pretty cool it Looks like we got another the cactus cat Kind of looks like a party popper skin. This skin, the Tadapole Raymond skin, actually looks cool. I like it. We got a nice cult looking skin. This skull one of Rough Fire is pretty awesome, guys. Like, look at this. It's a pretty awesome skin right there. Looks like Arch Uma finally got a new skin that's weird. Not weird, and I'm just like different than Arch Uma skins. He's a clown, and he's creepy. He has horns. So this Stalagant skin is called a vampire skin. It actually looks nice, really nice. We got a new Plip Pulse skin, looks pretty cool. Got a, a Spark skin line that actually does not look bad. That's it for page one of the updated skin. So let's pop in page two. Okay, so here's part two of the skins. So it looks like Torless has like a house skin. That's kind of cool. We got the Needling skin. It looks like Kronos has a cool, like, overseer looking style skin. Panda Dish has a burning food skin, which is pretty cool. Looks like we got, like, a train conductor skin for the. I forgot his name already. We got a new Kaleidoskunk skin, which is actually pretty cool looking. I like that. Looks like Wiglet has, like, a World War Apocalypse style skin. I'm just calling it World War because his jacket is kind of like a World War bomber fighter jet, you know, captain. The skin reminds me of, like, something from My Little Pony. Probably because of the dots and stars on its side. Oh, I didn't realize we were getting another Rough Fire skin. Man, the Rough Fire skins are looking awesome. Oh, the Calamander skin. Munchies has a new skin. It's not bad looking, not bad. I'm guessing that's... I can't... I keep on forgetting. Mold. Colt has, like, a camel looking skin. Ooh, go Mutt. And Muttish has a new skin. Light Bob has a nice little skin. Munchies has an awesome sprinkled skin. Like, look at that skin. Chewie has a cool skin. Look at that. Dude, this skin is actually pretty awesome. I don't know why it has, like, wiglet hair. Oh, Satakit has a uh, playing card skin. It's actually pretty nice looking. And then it looks like the data chip doodle you can get unlocked finally has a skin already before we even got it. Two different skins. It's not showing you one of the, the final evolution of it though. Looks like a B skin. Nice. Oh, the Vipe Ember has a new skin. That's pretty nice. This Plipple skin. I love it. I do want to find it because it's literally Gur. G-I-R from Invader Sim. I used to watch a lot of Invader Sim. Looks like Spreeling has an awesome skin. It kind of reminds me of like something from Robin Hood. I was going to say Draw Mask, but now I can't think what the heck this is. Snowbat has a new skin. It just looks like more Icicle. Oh, we got like an Inspector Detective style. Lipo and Leezer. Well, that's pretty much it that was added in this update. But like I said, there's a whole new area. A key guardian with the puzzle, which the key unlocks your level cap to 36 once you kill the second key guardian. Which that will be a whole separate video. The key guardian will be a separate video with the puzzle. After the puzzle, I'll be fighting the key guardian so you at least can see how to do the puzzle. Then I'll have the uh, separate little data chip video to show you the data chips in this area. And I'll have a separate video if there's at least more than one chest and i'll probably have a separate video based on the data chip new doodle but before we get going every time there's an update or a skin update every saturday or friday which said he's changing his update days to friday they usually add stuff to a gem shop so let's see what's in the gem shop today so female staggling with vampire skin is premium and it's 3k gems not bad i usually only go through the top four i know you could scroll down but usually the top four are like the main ones so i was right it was something over Oversea, temporal oversee, five star, 8k gems. That's a lot, but you do get a five star. 
and you do get the skin with it. So here's a hidden trait, Clicky, with a Mecha-01 skin, so that's what that skin's called. And that's 4k gems. Here's a Clyde Skunk, it's premium, and it's called Abstract Skin. That's 250k. So Tadapol is a premium skin. It's only a thousand, that's not bad. I probably would get it, but I spent my free gems we got, because I bought this. Yes, I bought the Munchie skin with the Frappuccino skin. Sadly, when I got him, he was only two star. So it's only 1500 gems. Kitchen Mishap. Ooh, he burnt his food. That's 4k gems. And the music skin flask is 2k gems. Definitely check those out. And before I go, let's go check out the Dudopedia stuff on how you can disable stuff. So like right now, I do have a chain going over 100 of draw mask. But see right here, I have, I'm mainly trying to find cop cosmic and i don't mind if i ran into this one either so you so you click on it to disable it and i notice when i click the misprint theme it resets it so click it i notice it's kind of a, a glitch so like i'm gonna click the clips right now but scribble will disable and it only does that when i click misprint stuff like that first yeah i just want to show you how to disable those skins in person but yeah that's pretty much what's added in this update like i said i'll have a separate separate video of me doing the key guardian number two puzzle and then after that puzzle i'll be fighting the key guardian just so you can see it, it could be a year later and you're a new player who knows i'll have a separate video on whatever data chips are added in here if there's more than one chest i'll have a separate video on that well that's pretty much it what's in the update tell me what's your favorite skin that was added i am actually liking that sprinkle munchies one the ska rough fire one a lot but either way, I am Gorepunk, you're at the Goriest Punk YouTube channel. If you are new, smash that sub button right under the video. Go follow me at my Twitter at Gorius Punk. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Either way, guys, thank you for stopping by and checking out this Doodle World update video for 8-12-2022. Yeah, I know it's the 13th today, but the update was on the 12th. Peace out, everyone. Have a wonderful day, night, evening, wherever you're at on this planet. Peace out.